My name is Robert Grass. I run a small spin-off company called TurboBeats, where we sell magnetic nanoreagents. Magnetic nanoparticles have been around in biochemistry for many, many years. And what we wanted to do is to take that idea and translate it to a chemist so that he can do magnetic separation, which works in his setting. The material we have is unique because it has carbon layers running around the metallic particles. Because metallic nanoparticles, they oxidize very rapidly. We have a rather exotic method of making them. We do a process called flame synthesis. So we do combustion synthesis of these particles. In chemistry, everybody has a beaker, a stir plate, a list of things you have to do a certain procedure. In nanotechnology, you have a much broader tool set and the infrastructure needed to do the synthesis of my particles is very large. Nobody does that. So the only way to get other people using the technologies I developed is to being able to sell the materials. It gives a really basic, broad education in a very well-defined field. It's like learning to be a cook. Yeah? You, you, you learn recipes in the end and you also learn hands-on work. As engineers we also learn scaling and calculating the things and I think that's really important. As a student I wasn't aware that nanotechnology is now the next big thing. It was more following a professor who, has, who was motivating a fascinating process. I have a student who's a PhD student. She came to me during her undergraduate and said this is my life plan. I try to uh, teach her that life cannot be organized in that way, or at least I, I, I don't see that, that you have to uh, see, learn where you're good at, what, what you can do, and go with the opportunities which are at hand. Most of the time things don't work. If they work, it's a few percent of the time. In that, a research group is extremely important, because you then can balance Everybody has good and bad times, so on average you can somehow balance it and you, can, you go through the whole thing together. I believe that you have to go with opportunities, but often you also have to believe in things you do and do them long enough, even if people say it's stupid or other things work much better and there's a similar product, why don't we use that and why are you doing that in the first place? One important piece of advice in a scientific world is be to stay connected with the real world. I did it much better uh, when I was younger. And now I have family, I have two small kids, so I have uh, more or less my work and uh, my family. Before I did a lot of sports and uh, music. And personally, the balance was a little better because uh, family is also work. So, <laughs> but of course, it's also two different worlds which, which are then combined.